What is up y'all welcome back to another video here on the channel and in this one what I'm going to be showing you guys is a very easy solo card duplication glitch that is working again here on the last gen version of GTA 5 Online. So if you're on PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One version of GTA 5 Online you guys can do this glitch. Now this does not work on the enhanced version of GTA 5 Online. Um, so I will leave a video link down in the description below to another solo car duplication glitch that does work over on the enhanced version of GTA 5 Online on the PS5 or the new Xboxes. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this one. What we want to do first here is grab the vehicle we are looking to duplicate like a fully upgraded Arena War IC. And we need to pull it out of our MOC and inside of our bunker here. Once we have it here inside of our bunker from the back of our MOC, we need to do one of two things. Uh, we, need, we can either park it here just behind the MOC until we are, are just on the brink of losing the right D-pad option in the top left. Or what we can do is come, uh, come around this corner here and hug up against the wall and then park all the way up towards the pole. If we jump out, we should still have the blue light and then we should have the right D-pad option while we are in the vehicle. In order for that method there to work, what we need to do is have the uh, hauler front end here on the MOC to make the MOC shorter in the bunker. If you cannot uh, afford the hauler if you do, or if you do not have the hauler, you can just do the first method there of parking behind the MOC until you are just on the brink of losing the, the right D-pad option. Uh, from here, we're going to go ahead and walk out of our bunker on foot. Once we are outside, we need a job teleport to our Eclipse Towers apartment in order to glitch out so in order to job teleport we're going to go ahead and start up a blue job here on the map that is close to the apartment and then once we start up this job what we need to do is join somebody completely random off our friends list who is playing in a different targeting mode uh, so once we join this random person off our friends list and we are on the first alert we can join them for a second time and then what should happen after joining them a second time is it should automatically switch to the targeting mode alert and then once it's on the targeting mode alert, go ahead and decline it. And then you should spawn down here on the job marker that you had started up close by the apartment. Uh, you can go ahead and just accept the first alert and then decline the targeting mode alert if you do know they are in a different targeting mode. But once we go ahead and enter our apartment, we need to make sure that we are entering a penthouse suite. Uh, we will need to change the apartment style, so make sure you are entering a penthouse suite apartment here in the Eclipse Towers. So once we are here inside of our penthouse suite apartment, what we need to do is walk into our heist room. And you guys will need to have an active heist here. Uh, as you can see, I do have just the first setup done on the Felicia job. So once you guys do have an active heist set up, what we need to do here is go ahead and have our character face the door just like this here in the heist room. And make sure you do still have the right d-pad option in the top left once your character is facing the door and you have the option go ahead and enter the pause menu go to online and hover over criminal enterprise starter pack once we're hovered over the criminal enterprise starter pack we're going to hold the options button or the pause button we're going to hit x or a and then a quarter of a second later release the options or pause button and we should see ourselves here on the starter pack menu we're going to hit right on the d-pad and what should what should happen here is you should see launching mission down in the bottom right if you do not see launching launch mission in the bottom right go ahead and back out and try that part again but from here what we're going to do is hit triangle or y to drop the starter pack menu and we should be on the heist board here we should be able to open our interactions menu and if we cannot open our interactions menu we will have to uh, start a new session and try this again um, but what we're going to do is go ahead and walk our character forward we should be able to walk in the background so go ahead and hold forward on your joystick and your character should walk outside of the door once he's outside of the door go ahead and open your interactions menu again and then from here go to apartment style and then we're going to go ahead and uh, just basically continue to preview each style here all right make sure you just click x or a one time so you just preview it and not actually buy it but what should happen here is once you're previewing the styles you should notice that the, the uh, high sport is glitching out uh, once you notice that the high sport is no longer glitching out when you are previewing the styles uh, you should be good to go go ahead and back out of the high sport and you should notice that you have no longer have a mini map here on screen which means we are indeed glitched out now we will not be able to open the pause menu so what we need to do is open our phone go to the internet tab and then from there we can go ahead and pause or go into the pause menu here uh, what we need to do is job teleport again uh, this time what we're going to do is job teleport to either our agency or our our auto shop okay uh, this will work either at the agency or the auto shop make sure you do have a vehicle you do not mind losing stored in any one of those properties like a free elegy here uh, i did go ahead and use my agency 
Uh, so what we're going to do is jump in the free LG and we're going to hit right on the D-pad to bring it into the mod shop. Once we are in the mod shop, we're going to make one change on the vehicle. After making one change on the vehicle here or the free LG, we're going to go ahead and back out of the mod shop. Uh, then we're going to exit the vehicle and then what we need to do is go ahead and make a way to our bunker from here. Uh, so go ahead and job teleport again to your bunker. Keep in mind you will not be able to drive vehicles or anything like that. Uh, you will be bricked if you try to jump in a vehicle and drive it. So we will need to job teleport while doing this glitch. But once we're here back at the bunker you should notice that your ISI or the vehicle you are looking to duplicate uh, is exactly where you left it. Alright once you jump in here go ahead and hit right on the d-pad. And accept the full alert. Uh, once you accept the full alert and once you're inside here, this is now one successful duplicate and it is now saved. This vehicle inside the MOC is the duplicate copy. The original will be pushed over to where your free elegy was stored. And the license plates on the back of these vehicles will be clean and these vehicles will be safe to sell as long as you sell to avoid hitting your daily sell limit. If you want to avoid hitting your daily sell limit, we recommend to sell no more than one or two per hour and no more than seven per a 30 hour period. And that is real time. But that is going to do it for this one. I highly appreciate you guys staying tuned in. If this video did help you out in any way or if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave me a comment down below. And if you were kind enough to hit that subscribe button, make sure you do turn on all bell notifications. That way you'll never miss out on any future uploads here on the channel. This has been your boy High Guy, and until the next one, I'm out. Peace.